Are you planning to hike this summer in Alaska? Then watch this video as I show you 10 accessible hikes that you can do starting from the Kenai Peninsula in the south all the way till Denali in the north. So let's just dive in. Number one on this list is the Harding Icefield Trail in Kenai Fjords National Park located just outside of Seward. Starting on the valley floor, the trail winds through cottonwood and alder forest, passes through heatherfield meadows and ultimately climbs well above the tree line. At the top, be prepared to be taken into a completely different world as you gaze at the imposing Harding ice field. At this point in time, I have no words to describe how beautiful the hike is. Really out of words. The total hike is about 9 miles, takes anywhere from 6 to 8 hours and remains snow covered well into July. We are going to stay in the Kenai Peninsula and head over to the Ski Lake Lake Lookout in Cooper Landing located only an hour outside of Seward. It is only a moderate hike of 4 miles but offers incredible views of the turquoise waters of the Ski Lake Lake. You can then drive down to the shores of the lake to take in some spectacular views from the shoreline as well. The next four hikes are all technically located in the Anchorage area, starting with the Portage Pass Trail in the town of Whittier. Getting to the trailhead is half the fun as you drive through the impressive Anton Anderson Tunnel shared with the Alaska Railroad. The hike is a gradual climb over the Portage Pass down to the Portage Lake where you can admire the views of the Portage Glacier. You can easily combine this hike with a 45 minute boat ride on the Portage Lake to get even closer views of the Portage Glacier. Technically a two day hike, but you can do the Crow Pass as an out and back day hike from the Girdwood Trailhead and hike till the top of the Crow Pass and the Raven Glacier viewpoint. At the top of the pass, enjoy some stunning views of the Crystal Lake, which remains frozen well into July. At number 5 is a short hike in the Hatcher Pass area, probably the best day hiking area near Anchorage. I highly recommend doing the April Bowl, a moderate 4 mile hike, providing impressive aerial views of the Hatcher Pass and the surrounding Tulkitna Mountains. The road to Hatcher Pass is open only from July 1 and this area is extremely popular due to close proximity to Anchorage. Combine this hike with a walk around the Independence Mine State Historic Park where you can explore the ruins of a once thriving silver mining operation. We are going to wrap up the hikes in the Anchorage area by doing a guided hike on the impressive Matanuska Glacier, the largest glacier accessible by car. This trailhead is located at mile marker 103 on the super scenic Glen Highway. Once equipped with crampons, you can walk for about 45 minutes on the surface of the glacier. Applying some free glacial facial. And just like that, I'm 10 years younger. Hike 7 to 10 are all located in the wonder that is Denali National Park. At number 7 is the Mount Healy Overlook Trail located right near the park entrance. Climb to the top of Mount Healy to get stunning views of the surrounding landscape and if you're lucky you might even spot Mount Denali, the highest mountain in all of North America. This is quite a popular hike so I recommend doing it early in the morning or late in the evening. Time for some off-trail hiking to admire the colorful mountains from the top of Polychrome Pass. Doing some off-trail hiking is totally recommended by the park service over here. This is a popular area for some off-trail hiking located at mile marker 45. Start the climb right off the park road. You will know you are at the top once the trail starts to level off. Hey guys, I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. And with that, let's move on to number 9 and 10. At number 9 is the Mount Thoroughfare Ridge Loop. This hike is the best bet to see Mount Denali on a clear day. The trailhead is located at mile 66 at the Isles and Visitor Center and this hike is only a short 3 mile round trip. I was extremely lucky to see Mount Denali and at 20,000 feet, it easily towers over everything around it. I was thrilled to even have my first ever moose sighting. Last on the Alaska top 10 is the Savage Alpine Trail at mile marker 15. 
This is also the furthest you are allowed to go in your private vehicle, so expect it to be crowded. The trail climbs rather steeply to a ridge, providing impeccable views of the vast treeless tundra. Also expected to be super windy once on top of the ridge. That's it from Alaska guys. Make sure to check out all the details in the description. If you found this video useful, give it a like and until next time it's bye. That's a grizzly. <laughs>